Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Osaka VCT 880 and let's get started. Okay, so this one is VCT 880 tripod. So now the packaging is gone, so let's uh, open the box and take out the tripod. Of course, just like most tripods, this also comes with a bag. And this one, of course, is the VCT 880. Let's put this away. Of course, there's a silica gel for the moisture. This is the first time I'm having a look at this and it feels quite premium in terms of the exterior appearance and the finish. Now, as expected, the pan movement is also very smooth. The Osaka VCT 888 visually is a treat to look at. It has a great finish and is built from high grade aluminium which gives it the necessary strength while still keeping it light on weight. It has a three-way pan head which comes with knobs with which you can adjust the tension on the pan head. This particularly comes in handy when you want to lock the head at a particular position or if you're a pro you can also use it to give your time lapse videos another perspective. The general handling and movement of the fluid head is but a smooth and by no way does it feel like a budget tripod. The bubble level indicator is a standard and does its job. The tripod itself is of a self leveling design and as per the specifications with the legs in folded position, the height of the tripod is around 66 cm. However, if you need the tripod to be taller, then just release the locking arrangement so that the telescopic legs can slide out. Once you are happy with the height, just turn the leg brace in clockwise direction to lock it in place. The maximum height one can get in this tripod is around 165 cm. And in my experience, the tripod stays planted and stable even when being used at its full height. Now, enough has already been said about the amazing fluid head, but I would also like to mention about its handle. It's big, strong and makes the handling very easy and an absolute pleasure. It has a very comfortable cushion grip and one really cannot ask for more in terms of quality at this cost. Next, coming to the camera mount. The spring lever seems to be of great build quality and the mount itself is of good finish and easy to operate. To release the mount, Turn the spring loaded lever as shown. Once it pops up, you can slide it up. Most of the mounts have a standard quarter inch UNC thread screw that gets secured at the base of the camera. Depending on the tripod, this one or another arrangement so as to keep the screw from turning while you are mounting the camera or in this case a smartphone mount adapter. I'll leave a link to this adapter in the description just in case you want to check it out. Remember, no matter which mount or adapter you go for, always try to use it along with the phone cover just to be on a safe side. Of course, practice makes perfect. Alright guys, so that was something about the tripod itself and unboxing and setup. I think this is a very good buy compared to uh, the other tripods which are available in the same range. I already have a VCT691 which is from Simpex and that is not very good in terms of outdoor clicks. I mean, if it's a little bit breezy, I can already feel, especially in time-lapse videos, that the, the camera is shaky. So that's why I needed something more sturdy and that's why I, got, got, uh, that's why I went for this. Uh, this one, uh, the main differences from VCT, uh, Simpex VCT691 would be that this is a little bit heavier. This is 2.1 kilos, that was 1.4. So you would not really feel much, but that half kilo or 600 grams is it's what you need to get stability outdoors in the budget tripod segment. I'm quite happy with this. Also giving you a, I mean, some additional features and also I found the lock, and, I mean the mount arrangement on this much better than the Simplex, the one which I have. Because in that I really have to struggle a bit sometimes but this one is like quite spontaneous and good. So in terms of the build quality comparing the two I think this is much better because but then again it's not very fair to compare two different price range but then again that is more like 2500 bucks and this is more like 3000 bucks so it's not really much difference but then for that 500 bucks this is what you can get 
another important difference or sort of a good feature in this would be weight it can carry so as per specifications it can carry 10 kilos which is quite a lot in terms of in terms of it only has to carry a camera and that means that if your camera has a big lens and you know you have a lot of mounts on it like a flash or something like this then of course i think this will do the job for you the handle for the fan and tilt movement and it feels it feels like really good when you like it has a nice cushion grip and also it has somehow it just feels better that's all i'm trying to say well that was more or less it about the tripod itself and the unboxing along with the setup if you like this kind of video do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel the link for the tripod itself is in the description just in case you'd like to check it out all right i'll see you in the next one have a nice day